Hey, YouTube, get down now. That was my impression of Super Set Man doing his impression of the Tominator. Hmm? Impressions of impressions. Anyway, this is Breon Ansley and Terrence Ruffin, Ruff Diesel. This is them at the 2021 Mr. Olympia event. They placed second and third, respectively, with Terrence Ruffin getting the Duke there. He placed second. Of course, Chris Bumstead's the champ. But why are we doing a comparison between these two dudes now? Well, if you take a look at the men's classic physique division lineup for the Arnold's classics, come on, get to the chopper, do it quickly, you will notice that both of these two dudes are featured on this list. And on paper, and realistically, guys, they will most likely be one and two at the Arnold Classic. So who's going to win, guys? It was actually very close. I All posing aside, both of these guys, great posers. But, I mean, Terrence Ruffin is probably on another level. But all posing aside, we do pitcher comparisons here. So who has the better physique? Quite different, I would say. Terrence Ruffin, Ruffin a shorter torso and maybe even longer legs. He's a little bit shorter, but his legs appear to be longer. And torso smaller, like I said. Longer torso for uh, Breon Ansley. It's aesthetic. It's classic, I guess. It's a, it's a classical flow to both of their physiques, though. Breon's got better biceps, I would say. Food for thought. At the end of the day, very close. Very close. Too close to say one's definitely winning. You turn to the side here and see what I mean? See what I mean? The shorter guy has perhaps longer legs for Terrence Ruffin. He is holding his legs straighter as well. You can see in the far far leg. Breon, bigger arms, more separated arms, better altogether. He's a bigger lad, I guess, as far as the upper body is concerned. So it really depends on what you like. You like the, the bigger upper body for Terrence or for uh, Breon Ansley, which can arguably be more considered the classic guys 70s guys from the 70s obviously didn't have the huge lags but i mean you lay it down on on paper here and it looks pretty good either way go to the uh next shot this i love this shot i mean this reeks of classic i mean everybody from the 70s did this and speaking of which I'll make way for the true man meat. Watch out, you two little puny weaklings. Uh, look at my arms. Look at my traps. Don't look at the legs too much. Well, ignore you. You can look at the calves as long as you get to the chopper. And anyway, anyway, I do love this shot. And hey, the guys from the 70s, they, they obviously knew how to hit it better with those structures as well. But this is today. This is the men's classic physique division one of if not my favorite debatable debatable looks like he uh, uh terrence ruffin has better traps and it looks like breon ansley maybe with the better lat insertions and obviously he has the better arms this shot here it's not a mandatory shot and one other thing breon ansley he's already striking the christmas tree i guess or he's he, he's about to hit his rear lat so it's not really fair. You can see Terrence Ruffin. He's just boom, displaying that tree to a T. Look at that. Look at that in combination with his traps. It looks like some sort of mirror image tornado upside down. I don't know. It looks cool. I can tell you that. Definitely. But like I said, not fair. Not fair. It's not taken at the right time. Now here is the backs, guys. And what do you think? I think, all condition aside, Breon Ensley actually has a better back. And there is no rear lat spread to compare. But they don't use that. It's not one of the mandatory poses. And this is all condition aside because they're competing at the Arnold Classic. So you could tweak their condition one way or the other. And it's, it's close enough that... If they do come in the exact same condition, I honestly would say Breon Ansley, he impresses me more. From the lower half, he seems to have more muscle separation, not only in the calves, but the hamstrings as well. And his lat insertions go down just a little bit farther, traps just a little bit bigger. It all makes a difference, guys. And those bicep peaks, 
the cherry on the top of this cake. So yes, Terrence Ruffin got the victory, and maybe you can even see from here that he is in better condition than Brian Ansley, but we're not really looking at that right now. We're considering these guys do come in same type of condition, same type of peeled, super peeled, peeled. <laughs> anyway, anyway, got a request for a uh, peeled, peeled. I still do it. I still do it. Anyway, if they came in the same condition, I gotta say, Breon, more impressed with his back. We will finish this one off with a classical individual pose between these two. Ooh, I just seen right now Breon Ansley, the lower half. Thought he was doing the same thing as Terrence Ruffin. That looks painful. Keep in mind, he's 42 years young. No spring chicken, long way from the stewing pot, but no spring chicken indeed. Terrence looks good. Look at that back, though. That Breon Ansley, he's milking that back. Look at the thickness. That could be the difference, you know. If these guys do come in similar condition at the Arnold Classic, a couple of more guys there as well. I'll be doing another one-on-one -on -one comparison, so you can look forward to that one. The couple other gentlemen that I do believe will be third and fourth. Go ahead and comment it in the uh, the comment section below. I know you guys know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about, darn it. Anyway, hit thumbs up on this one. Let me know where you guys have these two placed. And keep in mind, we're going to ignore the posing routines at this point in time. Who has the better physique? Who has the better physique? Like I said at the start, Terrence Ruffin, one of the best posers I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he should have won best pose, but posing uh, routine. But anyway, hit thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And keep in mind, guys, I'm going to be doing lots of more comparisons and definitely a prediction list for the Arnold's Classics in due time. I'm going to wait a little while. You never know what can happen until then with the open class as well. Have a great day.